and then you have the production supervisor so again the production supervisor uh, it's basically a particular code we do not have any significance for, uh, for this but you know in the material master you can assign the combination of the production scheduling profile and also uh, the production supervisor in this particular configuration so the production scheduler or the production supervisor are uh, both the same so no need to confuse on that and now if we just scroll down i mean minimize this node of the master data and if we just come down to the operations and expand the list so here under this operations node we do have a sub node for the availability check so if i open this node we have the checking group the checking rule and the scope of check and all so here we are going to check the define checking control so these checking controls are basically assigned uh, based on the plant and the process order type so we see have here uh, two options the business functions so one is basically at the time of creating the order and two is basically while releasing the order so what activity should basically happen whenever you create an order and what activity should happen when you release the order so if i come down to uh, the process order types let's take this example pi01 order type and the availability check is one basically to check the availability during the order creation so here it basically talks about the material availability check so while creating the order should system check for the material availability or not and if you select this option as no check then it would be uh, bypassed so the material availability check will not happen when you create the order but you can activate this checkbox in the second option where you choose the availability check during the order release so the same way it happens for the materials the production resource tools and also the capacity so now if i go to the second option here this is for the availability check during the order release so now here i can enable this particular uh, checkbox saying that the release of this particular you know uh, order it depends on the user decision so let's say if i would like to release the order even though there are uh, mi uh, uh, missing parts okay so there are there is still a shortage of components but the user is going to decide whether uh it can be released so then you're going to choose this option as user decides on release if the parts are missing so then it's up to the user whether i mean the system will basically gives you a pop up saying that we have a shortage of uh, components would you like to release this order still or maybe cancel it so then it's up to the user right and here if you'd like to restrict the complete release of the order if there are any missing parts then we use this option 3 no release if the parts are missing so my recommendation is basically to go with the third option why because that is where uh, you know uh, the production process will uh, go smooth uh, without any shortages in the materials but again you know uh, it's not uh, a thumb rule saying that you should always have this kind of a restriction but it is a good to have uh, option and again it can vary from business to business but as of my knowledge based on these uh, uh, business process used in the uh, process manufacturing industry the order should only be released only when all the materials are available why because this is not a kind of uh, a discrete manufacturing where you can basically pause the second operation until you receive the components and then start the uh, operation right so it is a process once you load all the raw materials into the reactors or the vessels then the process goes from the first vessel to the second one and the second one to the third one in that way right so this is just uh, you know uh, my suggestion and it's up to your requirement and yeah for the capacity as well the same way and then the batch assignment release material so here you know in case you have the batch determination enabled in the order okay and that particular component is a batch managed so should this particular uh, order be released if the batches are not assigned or the batch determination is not carried out so this option basically helps you to identify that or manage that control and next going back
so since we are done with the availability check so the next one is the scheduling part so here we have the scheduling parameters so in this particular node we define the scheduling parameters of any uh, process order type in that particular plant so here uh, if we take a look we have the plant and the order type and uh, the production scheduling as an asterisk so it means that this particular uh, combination is not restricted based on a production scheduler or a production supervisor but if you like to have your scheduling parameters based on your production supervisor then you have to create uh, the similar entry or the similar configuration for all the production supervisors you have uh, configured in your plant but if you i mean in case uh, they should have a different scheduling uh, parameters based on the production scheduler only then you have to create those entries but if you say that irrespective of the production supervisor my scheduling parameters are always the same based on the plant and the process order type then you can assign the value as an asterisk under the production supervisor and go ahead with the configuration so here in the scheduling parameters it basically defines on what type of scheduling should happen uh, in the process order and how should the dates be adjusted and in the process order you know you might have seen the scheduling type at the bottom of the screen uh, where it shows as these values the forward the backward and the current date and the capacity requirements so on and so forth so it basically uh, comes up automatically as soon as the order is created and that is because it has been pre-configured in the with the combination of the plant and the order type so if you have selected it as uh, forwards by default it will always have the same value in the same whenever you create a production a process order with this particular combinations okay so what does the scheduling type mean so the forward you know it basically starts uh, with the forward date which means that you have to assign the start date from today itself okay so you you have to uh, provide the start date so that system will calculate the uh, system will calculate the end date based on the lead time assigned in the material master or maybe the master recipe and if it is a backward scheduling then you have to provide the end date of the production uh, of the process order so that the system will calculate the start date based on the lead time coming from the master recipe or the material master and if it is only capacity requirements so i'm going to leave this up to you and you can uh, share your comments uh, under the video for this option and then you know the current date whenever you choose this option by default the current date of the system will be uh, calculated as the start date of the process order and forwards with time entry and backwards in time it basically holds this the similar functionality of the forward and the backward scheduling but in this option 5 and 6 uh, the time is also uh, you know you can uh, calculate the time as well not just the dates okay so why don't you give a try and uh, then share your comments and how should the scheduling uh, happen in the process order should it be automatic and if you remove it it should be it would be a manual scheduling so that's a brief about you know uh, the scheduling parameters and if we come back since the scheduling is done we are going to move into the confirmation parameters so define confirmation parameters so i'm going to choose one example let's take this one so here we are going to define like how should the CO R six and transaction basically work whenever you input a process order. So what value should uh, appear and what fields should appear when I use you know a PI zero one order type and uh, how should it appear if I use a PI zero two order type? Maybe in the same plant or maybe in a different plant. So these options are basically helpful for us to manage that sort of uh, uh, display or the calculation of uh, the values so the first one is basically let's go to the checks the operation sequence so here if we choose the option as operation sequence is not checked it means that let's say you have five operations 
ऑपरेशन सॉरी फेजेस टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी राइट सो इफ यू चूज दिस ऑप्शन एज द ऑपरेशन सीक्वेंस इज नॉट चेक्ड देन इट मीन्स दैट यू कैन डायरेक्टली गो एंड कन्फर्म द थर्ड और द फोर्थ ऑपरेशन राइट सो इफ यू चूज दिस ऑप्शन मे बी एंड message or an information message when the operation sequence is not method to it means that system is going to throw you a warning message or going to uh, show you a pop up message saying that you have not confirmed the preceding operations 10 and 20 but now you are trying to do this 30 so that the user will be aware okay i have not done uh, i have not confirmed the uh, preceding operations so i have to stop this and go back and confirm the first two operations but if you like to say that the error itself uh should be appeared and the transaction should be a hard stop if the sequence is not followed properly then you you can uh, use this option but in this information or option the user he can still bypass the information message and go ahead by confirming the 30 so this is not something i recommend basically okay so we should always follow the sequence of operations so i prefer going into this option error or maybe warning okay and then under delivery over delivery so the over delivery tolerance and the under delivery tolerance these are basically coming from the uh, process orders so if you take a look in the process order uh, in the goods receipt uh, if i'm not wrong or maybe the assignment tab you should find a field uh, for the over delivery percentage and the under delivery percentage so that basically helps us you know let's say we have planned to manufacture uh, 100 kg of a product okay so my over delivery could go you know 5% more than the planned quantity but it should not go 10% less than the planned quantity so in that case my under delivery tolerance would be 10% so which is below my planned quantity and the over delivery should not increase more than 5% right of the total planned quantity so in that case Uh, the value that we defined in the process order should that be checked by the system while you post the confirmation so those options i mean uh, this particular option it helps us to control that kind of a functionality so if you say that the error when the quantity falls below the under delivery tolerance right so your under delivery is expected not be less than you know 5% or 10% so if the actual yield is less than the particular delivery tolerance then you are going to throw an error message here so the transaction will not be posted in the same way if it is the an over delivery so you are expecting an yield of uh, 110 kg of your planned uh, quantity of 100 kg so you should only expect a value that is between the under delivery and the over delivery tolerance but if it is way beyond the over delivery tolerance and that is something you know uh, to be worried about in that way in that particular case should there be a warning message or should there be an error message or maybe you don't want system to check that at all you would like to manage it manually right so these options it basically helps you uh, to manage that control while confirmations why because Uh, this particular screen or the configuration that we are discussing here is completely for the order confirmations only so whatever happens in cor 6n so all that will be controlled based on the configurations we assign it over here and then we have the result recording for the quality management for the qa so in case we have you know uh, the 03 inspection or the in process inspection active so should there be an error message if the uh, if there is no inspection result updated maybe you have not uh, posted the usage decision or you have not uh, evaluated the re the results on your uh, uh, inspection characteristics so in that case should there be a message or no message okay and should there be an hard stop uh, with an error so that check can also be uh, activated here